in the far north, barbarians, monsters, and far worse give their allegiance to the gods of chaos, their rule undisputed. But to the south, far from those frigid and cursed lands, it is the gods of the old world that reign supreme among the nations of men. Tal is the greatest of the pantheon, king of the gods, and lord of beasts, mountains, and forests. Often depicted as a large and long-bearded man with antlers crowning his head, but is also known to take the form of a stag, his favorite animal. His wife, Rhea, is a goddess of nature, health, fertility, and the harvest. She is the guardian of families and communities, overseeing their health and prosperity. Manan, the son of Tal and Rhea, is the lord of the sea and king of storms. Wherever the sea is prominent, so too is the worship of Manan, from the coastal hamlets of Nordland to the metropolis of Marienburg. Ulrich, the younger brother of Tal, is a god of war, wolves, and winter. An uncompromising and fierce god, he is most prominent in the warlike northern provinces of the empire, especially in Middenland and the city of Middenheim, where the flame of Ulrich burns eternally. Mor is the god of the dead and of dreams. He is the eternal enemy of necromancers and grave robbers, as well as the guardian of dreamers from the taint of demons. His wife, Verena, is the goddess of law, justice, knowledge, and science. Verena values fairness above all else, and as such, is the enemy of criminals as well as despots. Myrmidia is the goddess of warfare, but where Ulrich stands for strength and the fury of combat, Myrmidia stands for strategy and discipline. As such, she is most commonly worshipped by strategists and professional soldiers in the southern realms of Telia and Asselia. Shalia is a goddess of mercy, comfort, and medicine. Her temples, which also serve as hospitals, can be found throughout the Old World. There, her priestesses attend to the sick, the poor, and those lost in despair. Ranald is the god of thieves, luck, fortune, and mischief. His temples are taverns, brothels, and gaming halls. His followers, thieves, con artists, and gamblers. It should come as no surprise that his worship is looked down upon, and his followers often persecuted, especially by the devotees of Verena, the goddess of fairness. 